So the 6th of January 2021 was the very first day that I tried this with Olivia. Now Monty in the Viv below has been doing this repeatedly over the past month. He's a master of this, but I don't have footage of him because he likes to come out at night. So I thought it would be really interesting to document the very first day of allowing Olivia to do this. Now what you'll see in this video is completely by choice. I didn't force any snake to do anything. So on top of the vivariums is the target area I want them to go to. Now I've incorporated different furnishings up here like old boxes and excalsa which is wood shavings to dig around in. Basically I wanted an environment with lots of textures and lots of smells that were going to be engaging and novel to the snake. Now this coca core matting I used to give a bit more traction to the surface of the melamine top as I didn't know what the snake would actually prefer to go along. So what we're actually looking for in this entire interaction is green zone behaviours. Now what green zone behaviours are, are all the behaviours here listed by Laurie Torini. So upon the very first time I opened the vivarium glass and allowed Olivia to come out. Again, completely her own choice. You can see her tongue flicking and smelling the air here. She's investigating a new area and she's doing this because she wants to. So she's taken a different route to what Monty normally does. Monty normally uses the metal frame to climb upwards by weaving himself in and out, but she took a different route and went up the back by wedging herself between the melamine of the wood of the vivarium and the wall. And you'll see the green behaviours here, it's slow, tongue flicks, relaxed, comfortable movements, she's not fearful at all, she's happy to be out in the open. Now in this session she was out for around like 20 minutes. So this is the cut fast forward version if you will because I obviously can't upload 40 minutes of footage to YouTube and expect people to sit through it. But what you'll see in this footage is that she explored everywhere, every little nook and cranny. Now in this session she didn't actually go into the boxes above, which I thought she would have, but, but it seemed the mat was the primary focus of her exploration in this session. Which is what I kind of assumed was going to happen because it's got a really earthy smell when it came from the garden centre. So I'd imagine there's a lot of scent on that. These are the only two times I've fully documented a session, but I have been doing this after when asked. It's clearly a rewarding experience because she's highly motivated to ask to come out every time and the motivation only increased, which means it was a rewarding experience. If this was an entirely negative experience, she wouldn't be asking to come out every time. And by asking to come out, what I mean is, uh, they sit there with their nose pressed against the glass, in the exact corner they know you're going to open the glass from. This new behaviour only started after I started doing these sessions and letting them out. This behaviour is entirely linked to wanting out. So it's at this point I think she decides that she was going to go back the way she came and she changes her mind here and turns right and heads towards me. Which is fine by me because look how pretty this shot is.
Now at this point I can see it's clear that she's trying to go back in, but there's a glass barrier there. Now I didn't know whether she was trying to actually go back in or she was just smelling the area. But you can see here she's systematically waving back and forth with the transparent barrier trying to get through it. Until she finds the actual opening here and it's very apparent she wants to go back now. You can see her moving systematically back and forth here. You can see that she's trying to uh, figure out where she's going to place her body to actually get down from where she is. And that was the end of that session. She was out for around 20 minutes or so before she put herself away. Now I'm only doing this when they asked to come out. So the next time that she asked to come out was on the 19th of the same month. This was quite a rapid session compared to the last one. What's really interesting is that she knew she wanted to go up there straight away. She remembered where she wants to go and she used the a uh, metal grid there as like a lattice to climb up with. She climbed so fast but by the time I turned round after opening the glass to grab the camera to record she was already out and already travelling in that direction. That's how fast and how she moved with intent. She knew where she wanted to go this time. I just find it really amazing at how fast that was. It was almost instant. Let them out once and she was she knew exactly where she wanted to go again. And quite a long time apart as well. So in th this time I opened both glass so that she could return from either end. Now I thought she was going to actually wedge herself between the melamine and the wall and actually shimmy down and explore downwards. But upon finding her way back she decided to tuck herself away again. This session was around, uh, I would I would say eight to ten minutes around that range. So it was quite a, a short session compared to last time. So what she does now is that she goes all the way to the back left, all the way along the back wall, and comes back to face me again at the entrance on the other side. Now what she does is she sits there and kind of looks at me and tongue flicks a bit before eventually she turns around and goes inside towards the humid hide and goes and curls up. So I allowed her the choice to come back out again, but she chose to return. And it's at that point I knew that it signalled that the session was over. 